building your way up to hard and strenuous paddling to avoid injury. So I finally have done it. After many years of trying to jump back into an area of paddling that is strenuous or hard or and every time getting injured, I finally have been able to successfully do it without injuring myself. And I thought I'd discuss a little bit of this so that hopefully others might not make the same mistake that I've been making for years. So while I consider myself, excluding 2020, an all year round paddler, meaning all four seasons, always trying to make it out sometimes here and there, and sure, work can get in the way, et cetera, et cetera. And so for me, just because I would get out every so often on the water, it didn't mean that I was physically ready to then jump in into some of the harder paddling. And it's a lesson that over the years I continue to fail up until this year. So that's why I wanted to discuss it. So looking back, although we were trying to get out year round, the season for the harder paddling, so that would be uh, events or going surfing or going with groups or, or taking lessons, all of that seemed to kick off around springtime. That's where more paddlers start to join back on the water. Now, looking back through the years, I noticed a pattern that every time the season, quote unquote, would start, I'd end up injuring myself. And the reason for that, when it comes to arduous paddling or hard paddling, or unless you are working up to it, you can't just jump in where you think you left off at the end the last time you did that. And I could say the same of pool sessions or events like that where I haven't rolled, let's say I haven't rolled for a while and then I get the opportunity to spend an hour or two in a pool and then I go at it the way I would at top shape and my shoulders are never happy about it. So 2021, my wife and I started exploring areas nearby, just taking it easy, doing nice calm paddles and recently I had the chance to get out and surf a couple of times nearby. Matt was kind enough to take me to a really cool spot. And for the first time in years, I worked my way back up. And what I did is not only have I been trying to do exercises at home, but when I got out to the waves, I didn't just jump in exactly the way I would have, let's say the last time I was out on a wave, because looking back i do remember very specifically the first time almost always that i go surfing i'll jump in thinking i'm at the top of my game and then i'll push or i'll brace a certain way or one time i remember just simply going up and over a wave as i was paddling out and i got some air off of it and when i landed that brace did not really feel great my shoulders were not ready for it but i was just going at it all out as if i had been surfing for days and my body was just not happy about it so in this instance i have now gone out three times and i'm proud to say not only was the progression fantastic but i didn't injure myself at all and on my third day i was able to last the entire time we were out on the water just trying to catch one more wave and what oh and that's another thing how often do we say oh just one more wave oh just one more wave what happens to me usually is i'll go out on the very first time and i think okay just one more wave oh i, I know i can catch another one and as i get tired that also opens me up to maybe getting injured so like i said this time three sessions the first session i went out matt was surfing and having a great time and i just hung out in the soup i caught a couple of tiny little movements i was just getting reacquainted uh, and I could also tell because we had headwinds getting out there that already ate up a bunch of my energy So I didn't want to be stupid on the waves and then miss out on the next time I got the chance to get on the water and I wasn't even sore the next day So it was perfect second time. I went out also with Matt Same thing, but this time I jumped on quite a bit more now one thing to mention in this particular scenario, I was also checking out the way waves behave here. It's a new place for me. I don't really understand if they're going to be dumping, if they're not, starting to learn what areas are better than others, etc. But this time I jumped on a couple of waves. I didn't overdo it, felt fantastic. And now I went out for the third time with Catherine and a group and it was awesome. I think maybe we surfed for about two hours and I just felt so confident jumping on wave after wave even if they were tiny or they didn't really work out that well i felt i had the stamina my core felt good and i felt i was really able to push and try to drop into as many as i could i also started practicing with slowing down getting up to the top and dropping back down 
building that confidence, but also building physically up to a point where I feel more comfortable. And I even had a couple of moments where my braces felt great. There was one wave that showed me who's boss. A wave broke on me and started back surfing me and I was able to just brace into it with a nice tight, close to the body, high brace hung out no problem if that had happened on my first day i don't know if i would have handled it as well but because a bit of time went in between first day and third day on the waves and i've been trying to work out and build my stamina up to it i felt great doing it on my third day on the water and now i can't wait to get back at it usually my mistake is i go all out on the very first day and then i can't move the next day and if something happens let's, let's say i get window shaded that's when my shoulders get tweaked that's when i get injured and then i end up having to pull back and spend a week two weeks recovering rather than just slowly building up to it i think there's a saying we trade years for wisdom it's taken me many 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 years to hold back just a little bit in the beginning and build up to try to get the most out of a session but I have finally successfully done it. I also wanted to find out if anybody has any similar stories of, I was already an empty and I thought, ah, just one more wave and that's the one that did it. And then I was out for a couple of weeks recovering from an injury. Looking through the years, I can very distinctly remember every time I injured myself, it was almost always because I was overexcited and not physically ready. I was ready in my head. I had been waiting to get back on the waves or waiting for an awesome trip or waiting for a really great class. And then I gave it my absolute all when what I really should have done is if I know I have something booked, maybe the two, three weeks before I should have done more training or getting out on the water more or just built up stamina so that all of my muscles and everything in my body is ready not just my mind, but the body has caught up. And that way we can go into that event, that class, that session and rip things up without injuries. So if you have any tips that have worked for you, I would love to hear about them in a comment below. If there's any questions, comment as well. Subscribe if you'd like. I'm always trying to put these videos out. And as always, look glory, I consider. Thank you for watching. See you next time.